everybody? So this is my course project presentation. During my experience studying here in the United States in the Google Teacher program, I already learned a lot of theories that will help me to, um, to, to improve my teaching when I come back to Ecuador. So I'm going to start sharing those critical concepts. The first one is acquisition learning hypothesis. The next one is natural order hypothesis. So I'm going to focus my attention in the second point uh, after my presentation, after my introduction. The next one is grouping configuration. The next one is communicative approach. And the last one is formative assessment. As I mentioned, I'm going to focus my attention in natural order hypothesis. This is, was developed by Stephen Krashen, that is the person that in the picture. So the main idea of this hypothesis is that we acquire the rules of language in a predictable order. It means that the student is going to acquire the language, going through a process. So during this process, the student will be able to go to the next level. So during the process too, we have that a student maybe can have some errors and the students, the suggestion by, from Stephen Krashen is that teachers don't have to, uh, don't have to, the, the teacher don't have to try to solve the pro, the, the, those errors directly. The teacher have to give more examples until the students correct their mistakes by themselves. Okay, the second part of my presentation is the lesson plan. In the lesson plan, in this lesson plan, I'm going to, to teach likes and dislikes. So I'm going to use uh, vocabulary that we were starting during the whole week. And the strategy that I'm going to use is the mini book. Content and language objective. Those are the objective of the classroom that at the end of this, we're going to check if they were do it or not. So the first one is content objective. We will review the simple present of like and language objective Listening in a small group, we will listen to our partners, how they tell about what sport they like. Uh, about speaking, in a small groups, we will tell our partners about what sports they like. And reading, we have in, a, in pairs, we will read other students' stories to identify the simple present of like. And the last part, in writing, we have individually, we will complete a T-chart of sports sticking in a correct column for likes and dislikes. We will write down in a mini book a short story with this information about sports they like or dislike using the simple present of like. So now I'm going to I start with a demonstration of the class based of the lesson plan that I show you. So first, I'm going to give you this chart. It is a T-chart that it has two columns. The first one is like, and the second one is dislike.
OK, please. I need your attention, guys. What are you going to do? You have a sticky notes and this chart. In the sticky notes, I need that you write the, the vocabulary that we were studying in the last class that you write in, in each sticky notes. For example, be bas basketball, and you're going to write in a sticky note. Please do it. One sticky note per each vocabulary, per each word. Okay. Yep. Have you done? Okay, you have one minute more. OK, the next part is this. So you have one word in one sticky note, right? So you're going to take the sticky note with the word, and you're going to put it in the correct column about what do you like or dislike. For example, about me, I like soccer. So I'm going to put the sticky notes in this column. Is that clear? Yes. OK, do it, please. This one? Swimming. This one, swimming. Yep. It's swimming. Too long? Okay. Okay. So pay attention, please. Now, we are going to share the information that we have in the TP chart with one partner. So how you are going to this, uh, share this? You have to follow the structure that we were, uh, we were checking the last week. So here you have examples for the questions, and here you have examples for the answers. For example, Marlon, do you like play soccer? OK, perfect. Another example, uh, Lorena, do you like play basketball? No, I don't. Okay, perfect. So following this, this structure, you have to share with a partner. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, do it. Yeah. 
Yuram. Yeah. It's the do. It's the sport. You have to take a. Oh, you yeah. Have to spin. Yeah. It's an sport. Yep. And you have a blank and you have to throw it so, with an arc. An arrow. Yep. You throw the arrow. Okay. Pay attention, please. We have another activity. So did you remember this is the mini book that we used to work uh, writing here? Do you remember this? Yes. OK. So we're going to do something. You have to take three sports that you like and three sports that you don't like. And you're going to write down a short story here in the mini book. If you have any any problem with the extractor, you can use the extractor here about simple pressing of light. And you are going to write it down here. Is that clear? OK, pay attention, please. So you have, you have the cover, right? OK, in the cover, you have to draw something related with the sports. And then you have five pages. In each one, you have to write about, about each sport. Do you, do, you, do, do you remember that you have, to write, you have to take three sports that you like and three that you don't like? OK, so do it. Says likes. Cricket. It's on his phone. Any question? Yeah, you have to write about one sport for each page. Yep. Yeah, like it. It's awesome. <laughs> You done? Okay, you have two minutes more. You done? Okay, one more minute. Thank you. Okay, thanks.
Okay, the time is over. So now you have to choose one partner from a different table and you have to tell the story that you read to this partner, okay? So do it. From a different table. Okay, time is over. Go to your seats, please. Okay, guys, so we need volunteers. So you're going to share your story with the whole class. So volunteers, please. Okay. I'd like to play basketball and I'd like to play soccer. But unfortunately, I don't like to play Rubik and also I like to go hiking. Okay, perfect. One more student. Freddy. I like playing basketball. Okay. I like swimming. I like soccer, but I don't like archery, I don't like rugby, and I don't like cricket. Okay, so as you can see, all of those theories that we learned in this program are very useful. In this class, as you can see, the magic book is, an, is an, a useful strategy because students we can evaluate the students because they have to put everything together. So in this case, they have to write the vocabulary that they learn and the grammar structure. So it is useful too because it is a, a self-confidence for them. So thank you so much. It was everything about my presentation.